Um, in this video, I want to teach you another tune. This is a traditional, traditional um, Appalachian song called Shady Grove, and it works out really well on the mountain dulcimer. So in the first video, we talked about really basic old-time mountain dulcimer technique. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that video. And uh, then we were, then we learned Bold and Cabbage Down, a really simple, simple fiddle tune. So Shady Grove is in a different tuning from D A D. Okay, Shady Grove is in D A C. So the the melody string needs to be retuned to C, not C sharp, C natural. So if you've got a tuner, look for a regular plain old C. You want the melody string to be C. Um, if you don't have a tuner, you can do this. Go to the 6th fret on the bass string. That's the note that the melody string needs to be in order to get to this tuning. So what you can do is you can pluck 6 on the bass and then compare that to the melody string and tune the dulcimer to itself. So then you can take out your tuner and double check and see how close you got. So you should be in D A C. So here's Shady Grove. I'll play the whole thing and then we'll we'll break it apart into smaller pieces. Sounds like this. So the first section sounds like this. So I'm start with my ring finger on the first fret. One, 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 two, one, oh. Okay, do that with me. Ready, go. Next section starts at one and your walk up one, two, four, five. So one, 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 two, four, five, 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 five. So let's do let's do both of those sections together. So starting at the at the very beginning with your ring finger on one. One, two, ready, go. So you should be at the 5th fret. Here's the next section. You're going to go up to 7, down to 5, and then 4, 2, 0. I'll do that again. 7, down to 5, 4, 2, 0. Play that with me. 7, 5. Here's the ending of the whole tune. You're going to start at two. That's two, 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 four, two, one. So in this tune, there's there's what's called eighth note pairs, where there's two quick notes together. It happens at the very beginning. Those two, one, and then these two notes are eighth notes. When you have two eighth notes right next door to one another, you're going to strum the first one out, and an out strum, the second one come back home. Um, along with this video, there's there's a piece of tablature that you can look at while you're learning this tune, and you get it'll help you visualize and see where those eighth note pairs are. So play along with me. You can play along and watch the video. You can play along and watch the tablature. Um, and whenever you see an eighth note pair, hit the first one back, out, the second one back. So let's play the whole thing. Uh, one, two, ready, go.
So one thing that's cool about the DAC tuning is that it's it's a if you just strum open, it sounds it, it sounds kind of wonky. It's it's not resolved. We resolve at the first fret. So if, uh, whenever you see a one in the uh, in the, in the in the tablature, if you're if you're watching the tablature, you can do what's called a hammer on. So you can, uh, another way to, des to describe hammer-ons would be hammer up because you're hammering up the fretboard. You're going from a lower number to a higher number in terms of your fret number. So what you're doing is you're, you're aggressively tapping the fretboard where you would fret. So you're getting two notes out of one strum. So try that with me. It helps if you approach from a distance. If you if you just if you're really close to the fretboard, you're not going to get a lot of sound. So approach from a distance, and you can do that wherever there's a one. You can do that at the very beginning of the song. Shady Grove two more times. I want you to try those hammer-ons. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 